trailers for Fallout 76 have shown off a wide variety of different weapons that are going to be in the arsenal of the Vault Dwellers as soon as they leave the Vault. One of those weapons that was shown off a little bit more was the light machine gun, known in real life as the MG-42. The difference between the real life version and the version that we see is that it's got a shorter stock. The MG-42 was produced in 1942 to replace the MG-34 machine gun that the German army had been using. Firing at around 1,000 rounds per minute, it was found to be more effective when fired in bursts of 20 to 50 rounds of ammunition. The devastating effects of the rate of fire of these weapons can be seen in the intro sequence of Saving Private Ryan, where they are being used to fire upon the landing crafts of the Americans on D-Day. Now, in Fallout 76, we'll have access to this gun. Now, the question is, how exactly do we get our hands on World War II German machine guns? Now, there's a number of ways that they could justify this. They could say that they were from a museum, or their recreations, or they could be an American version of the machine gun as opposed to the Americans making the M60, which is what we ended up doing. We took the MG42 and we made the M60. Maybe the Americans in the Fallout universe, rather than slowing down the rate of fire and changing the gap, the ammunition, it will probably fire 308 rounds, if anything, unless they add another caliber of uh, ammunition in Fallout 76, because in real life it fired the 7.92 Mauser cartridge, so Bethesda is probably going to change the ammunition to say 5.556, 5, 7.62, something like that. Now in real life, the weapon was, was updated after the war to shoot seven several different things. It was the, there were several different versions, such as the T-24 machine gun, the MG-51, the MG-53, the MG-3, and the M MG-3. G74. Most of these were updated to more uh, modern ammunition such as the 762 and other rounds like that. So maybe in the Fallout universe, the, the US military updated the machine gun via an American bullet but kept the general design of the machine gun, seeing its effectiveness on the battlefield of World War II. Now as for how we will get our hands on this, it is as of yet unknown. We'll probably be able to uh, craft the weapon, or find it on super mutants or in uh, caches around the West Virginian wasteland. But that's just my thought. If you guys like what you see, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the things that I do. And I'll see you guys in the next one.